Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be able to speak to you all today. Um, maybe, Joe, we can kick off with you. If you could just yes. give us a brief intro to this series for people who aren't familiar with Jonathan's books. Um, you know, can you just give us the premise in, in a few sentences? Yes, Lockwood & Co. is a supernatural action-adventure series set in a world where there's an epidemic of ghosts. The ghosts will kill you if they touch you. Young people can sense them, see them before older people. So all these agencies have sprung up, r run by adults, employing young people to fight the ghosts using metal and salt and these various elements that repel them. It's a brilliant, very simple idea. And our story follows the one agency in Britain that it does not have adult supervision, run by Anthony Lockwood, played by Cameron Chapman, his best friend George Kareem, played by Ali Haji Hashmati, and then newcomer, Lucy Carlyle, played by Ruby Stokes. You smashed that. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um, and you seem to have a bit of an aptitude for capturing these sorts of worlds, this world building, you know, and there's a lot of wit in there. If you think, look at Attack on the Block and The Kid That Would Be King, um, Young People Against the Supernatural, what do you think it is about these types of fantasy series that appeal to you? Um, and what was your approach particularly in bringing Jonathan Stroud's books to the screen? I think these stories appeal to me because I s saw so many great ones when I was young, be it like E.T. or Explorers or The Goonies or The Black Stallion, all the movies that I saw when I was young that, where I saw myself in these escapist stories. So I like to think maybe I can do that kind of thing for a new generation. And these books are just incredibly well written, really compelling, they're sophisticated, uh, they're very cleverly thought through, the rules are sort of stuck to and brilliant. And at the centre, they have these three really charismatic, really energetic characters that are really compulsive to, to follow. And coming to you guys, um, maybe I'll start with you, Ruby. I mean, it's quite a, a jump from Bridgerton, um, but obviously it must have been a really appealing prospect. Um, had, were you already familiar with Joe's work? Um, had you read the books? What was the entry point for you? And, and why did you want to make that, that, that jump from Bridgerton? Yes, Ruby, were you familiar with Joe's work? Of course I'm familiar with Joe's work. Um, and you know, I hadn't read the books before, but when I got the audition through, I kind of read the first couple of like 100 pages on Google Reads. And you know, I immediately loved the character. I love that it's a, a young female kind of narrating this story and you see it from her viewpoint um especially in the books um and then you know they're not just three sort of heroes at the front of a story but they're well-rounded unapologetic teenagers going through that universe mm. experience and you know they're, they're four-dimensional in their emotional language as well um and it was i loved working on that show and playing that character and i think working on such a glorious spectacle and incredible production as bridgerton um prepared me and propelled me to go and do a role and work with the team on such a show like Lockwood. And what I love as well is the sort of complexity of each of the characters and, and the dynamics between the sort of trio. I wonder if could you think of three words to describe your character first of all and mm -hmm. you know what aspects maybe you can relate to and, and which maybe are very different to how you are? <gasps> oh wow, well I relate to Lucy a lot. Um, you yeah, know she reminds me of kind of when I was a teenager but also she's much cooler than me I think we've all we've been kind of saying that, that these characters are much cooler than who we were at that age but Lucy in three words is oh god I want to do one of them ones where they like spell out a sentence but <laughs> see I'm not that cool um, <laughs> uh, she is fiercely loyal and loving that's four I, I, I did a little filler word, yeah. and <laughs> fiercely loyal, loving. She is an and. <laughs> she is an and. <laughs> <laughs> and for each of you, you know, a bit about your character and, and what aspects that you were drawn to or what were very different to you? Um, ooh, I think I was drawn to... When, when I got the, the, the audition, I read through the script, and I was drawn to how cool he was, and I, I was imagining, you know, what it would be like filming that. It was the um, it was the ball scene at the bar at the Fitz mm. HQ that I was reading, and I was just like, "Wow, that would be cool." Mm. And then it was like eleven months later, we were we were there at the there barbecue, we were. Thing and it was awesome. Um, but no, Anthony Lockwood is very fun. He's complex, and 
loving. He, he loves his friends. He's charming as well. Yeah, yeah, and that, that's kind of the hardest thing to do. <laughs> but he's he's got these great relationships with these two, and that that was the best bit. That was the best bit. Uh, he's very different to me. He's yeah, yeah like you said, much cooler, <laughs> much better at sword fighting than me. Happy you, Ali. Ali, you've had a long time to think about this. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm not sure <laughs> about that right? sentence. George, what initially drew me to George was how passionate he was about the problem um, and how much he didn't care about expressing that passion. He could walk into a room and wouldn't say hi to anyone but would just start ranting about the problem and really gr gruesome stuff. Is that a word? Gruesome. Gruesome. <laughs> yes, it is a word. Okay. It doesn't mean anything, but... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'd, I'd pro in three words, I'd probably say George is passionate, intelligent, and unusual. Mm. Yeah, I say that we're really yes. kick-ass too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That one. But I didn't get my three words, so I'm going to go. Oh. Lockwood is handsome, <laughs> oh. beautiful, <laughs> hilarious, oh, oh, and modest. <laughs> that so sounds like, like what Lockwood like would me. say. <laughs> The other aspects I really love about it is kind of, you know, how spooky it, it does look and it's kind of this um, sort of quite analogue look, you know, the Victorian style to, to the ghosts um, and also the really witty dialogue. Um, so I wonder what have been some of the best moments on set? W were you kind of spooked out at any point? Um, and, and did you have like a lot of funny moments trying to reel off all this really witty dialogue? Well, we did. We shot for a long time in Kensal Green Cemetery <laughs> and if you want to find a spooky place... That is a yeah, spooky place. Spooky. I mean, there's a lot of graves. It's still a very active uh, cemetery. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in it's in use, but there's a lot of filming that goes on there. And there were there were drivers that wouldn't that would drop you off at the edge of the cemetery <laughs> that didn't want to drive into yeah. the to the cemetery. And um, sometimes when you when when you wandered off away from the set, it was pretty well, spooky to, at like night. The, mm. the, Toy, oh, so run but the, the loos were like much further down <laughs> from away from the set, and like I, you know, a couple of times we're like, <laughs> just pick up my pace. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> I got lost at Mentmore. I, we we oh. went to loads of spooky locations. Yeah, yeah. Mentmore. Tell us what Mentmore was. The big country house is In massive. Three. From Kerry Hall. Yeah. Episode three is yeah. beautiful house. It's so gorgeous, but it is huge, and I I I got told off once because I got a bit lost and turned up a bit late. Yeah. to a shot but just, yeah. Yeah. there just is exploring. definitely one time where I think all three of us were very really <laughs> scared what? which was when we were filming a sequence at the end of Ep 3 in Surrey and what? oh the monks the monks I wasn't sure where yeah. oh but, but that was a played... set build that was a set build yes yeah, so that was yeah. a set build and for me it was the unusual movements, the dancers coming oh, yeah. towards us with the music. It was being played in the background. So, so yeah, Will, Will McGregor, the, the director, he kind of put on like spooky music to get, yeah. you know, give the atmosphere. And um, then they had like dancers imitate like what the monks would be doing. And it was proper spooky. I like that he called cut and I looked at both of you and we all had the same, like we weren't acting, we were doing yeah, yeah. Really? I mean, maybe I'm just speaking for myself and you guys were just. <laughs> no, no, we were, I was scared, yeah. Also cold. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm out of time, but thank you so much for sharing thank that with me. Well. I know thank there's more, more books, so I'm hoping there's going to be more seasons to yeah, come. Yeah, so, 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 so Thank you so much.